Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from uh, the Bemis, Tennessee area of uh, South Jackson, Tennessee, on uh, Third Street, uh, ready to share with you yesterday's and today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily. It turned out to be a very beautiful day today, uh, Friday, the uh, March the 2nd. Uh, 2018 and uh, we got at least one more day well two more days really Saturday and Sunday before we have another chance for rain to move into the area well yeah, first of all let me go ahead and give you yesterday's climate summary for you or to you uh, yesterday's uh, low temperature was 47 degrees uh, here in the Bemis area uh, yesterday's high was 66 degrees. I had uh, 62 hundredths of an inch of rainfall here yesterday. That's also the total for the month of March. And I've had 20.70 inches for the year so far. Got a head itch. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, highest wind gust yesterday was north at 27 miles per hour out of the north uh, at 4.12 p.m. Uh, yesterday's uh, hottest high was 68 degrees in West Tennessee at the National Weather Service Forecast Office. It was uh, again 66 here in Bemis. Yesterday's uh, coldest low for West Tennessee was 47 degrees, and that was right here in Bemis, Tennessee, and at the Jackson, Tennessee airport, both recorded at midnight last night. All right, as of today's cli climate data, as of 5 p.m., yeah, I'm coming on a little early. <laughs> it's about 10 minutes to 6. I thought I'd try an early one, one for once. All right. As of 5 p.m., the skies was clear and beautiful. Uh, the uh, uh, temperature was down to 57 degrees. The dew point would be 32 degrees. The humidity would be 39%. We had north winds at 7 miles per hour, and the barometric pressure would be 30.34 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature dropped down to 37 degrees. Today's high warmed up to 60 degrees. And of course had no uh, precipitation since uh, midnight. The lowest humidity today was 35% at 4 p.m. While the highest would be 93% at 6 a.m. this morning. Today's lowest barometric pressure would be 30.27 inches of mercury, and that occurred at 12 a.m., and the highest was 30.43 inches, and that occurred at 10 a.m. Today's highest wind gust was uh, 17 miles per hour out of the north at 10.25 a.m. Excuse me, make that 11.25 a.m., this morning at the Jackson, Tennessee airport. Today's records for March the 2nd, 84 degrees. Oh, 84 degrees would be the hottest high in 2012. Uh, the coldest high would be 29 degrees in 1980. The warmest low would be 64 in 1976, while the coldest low would be 10 degrees in 1980. Today's rainfall record would be 3.16 inches and that occurred in uh, 2014. And, to note, and today's snowfall record would be 1 inch and that fell in 1972. Alrighty, that's the basic uh, climate data for you. Uh, now it's time to show you a few uh, graphs for you. And last night, I found a new service that does an excellent job with their radars and other uh, products. Uh, Intellicast, I believe is the name of the company. I'm going to show it to you tonight, introduce you to them, and show you some of the various uh, services they do. I love their radar. Now, Channel 3's radar out of Memphis is good. 
No, and I may still make references to it ever so often, but most of the time, if it comes through, I'm going to start showing you this one. It's also up to the last minute. 545 is the very last minute. I believe it just showed. Uh, yeah, that's only five minutes ago. In that regard, Channel 3 might be the most up to date. But anyways, about five minutes, what's the big deal, I suppose? Uh, well, it can be a big deal depending on how you look at it. Well, that's a close-up view of uh, West Tennessee. I like the way Jackson is uh, on this one. And uh, how far out am I going to have to branch out to find station? Nowhere near us. Um, I know that. That little plus symbol in the middle, that represents Jackson, Tennessee, of course. Nothing real close by. We actually have to just about branch off to the whole nation, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And let you see where most of it's occurring up there in the northeast. Uh, I'm going to show you this one, and then we'll go ahead and show you the... Uh, oh, there is one other one I forgot to bring up. Yep. I just thought of it. And I had it and I dropped it. I realize that now. That's alright. Maybe I can get it this way. Uh, I think it's... No, it's not layers. It's... Uh, satellite. That's what I was... There we go. That's what I was looking for. This is... Uh, to look at the very latest satellite picture, nationally speaking, there you can see we're pretty clear here. I'll go back in just a little bit to so see how widespread the clear skies are. And all, all of Tennessee, the Carolinas, uh, and, and southward is clear. Most of the precipitation is, of course, up north where all the snow is taking place, which I will show you that one on this next map. Well, this one's just as good, actually. Let me go back to the radar, and there, there's a slightly, there, there's a closer up view of the precipitation according to theirs. I'm zooming in just a little bit so you can see what's going on. You see some heavy rain all over around the Boston area. It's pretty well snowing up in the New York area, in New York State, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and a little bit up in uh, southeastern uh, Canada. And that, that's it up in that area. That's where all the heavy rain and stuff is now. Tennessee is scot-free, as you can see. There's nothing going on here. Uh, let me put that dot back to Jackson, which is about right there, and then bring you back over here. And this is where most of the clouds are, of course. Now this is their um, uh, system. I tell you what, it's not that I don't trust them. I'm going to go ahead and bring up one more. I'm going to have to widen this up just a little temporarily to get it. I can't believe I deleted it by accident. And here it is. Let me do one more thing. There we go. I think I still got it looping. That's Tennessee right there as a whole. I, saw, I found a way to make this uh, there's a few little clouds going by over in uh, eastern Tennessee, but they're dissipating as they're moving through Tennessee. Now, I found something last night on this one that I like. I found a way to get uh, the whole U.S. in here. And right here it is. And let me get it to moving. There we go. 
Uh, well, at least I thought it was the whole U.S. <laughs> and it's not moving. I'm going to have to bring it out to... Ah, there we go. I'm going to have to branch out and hope you can see it. Well, I think I can fix this where I can see it too. At least I hope so. Oh, I got you. Mm, let me see. That cuts it off what I do. Oh, I see what I need to do. There we go. There you see the whole United States on this one. Which is about the clearest one of all of them still. Now you see the clouds up there in uh, New England. There's another system out west. You ain't even seeing the, the snowy tops over there in the mountains of Colorado on this one. I think that's what that white is. Or the, the white is showing up in Colorado and Wyoming. And some snow up there in the northern plain states. Uh, there's some clouds down in the Gulf, crossing Florida, but not causing anything bad down there. And there's some clouds down in the Gulf along the Texas-Louisiana border, uh, but they're not doing anything, not causing it. They would go down a little bit further. Now you can see it a little bit better. There's some clouds down, th down there in Mexico that you can see. Now, black means clear skies, by the way. We're, we're loaded with it here in Tennessee. Uh, that's the national satellite picture as of right now. You can see words clear and word hidden. And most of the country is actually clear at the moment. With the exception, of course, of the Northeast. And um, that part of the country. We're clear here. Let me go back to Tennessee real quick, which is this one, and turn it on again. You see, that's locally right here in Tennessee. All right, and that's pretty much it. It's going to continue being that way for a little while. All right, let me move on to weather underground. <laughs> now, what's this one like? Where did it go? Oh, my Lord. Way over there. Maybe let me pull it back to the U.S. a little bit here. <laughs> there it is. I must have clicked on something that's hidden. There's a snow up in the northeast. Now, weather underground is uh, way off. It's pretty good too. I just don't have it moving for a reason. But uh, there you see the systems out west. This is current surface map. You see where the frontal systems are. Tennessee's in the clear for right now. And will continue to be that way. Let me zoom in a little bit. For Tennessee, sort of in the middle. Get one more. That's a close up view of Tennessee. Like I said, we're we're good shape here. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that snow up in the northeast. It shows up better even on this map. I haven't seen anything out do weather uh, underground map yet, even though that other one came close. But there's a heavy rain up in the northeast. It looked like it's he heavy rain in Boston, Massachusetts, and in Connecticut, down around New York, snowing. Uh, along the Boston coast too, looks like up there. Snowing pretty good in uh, New Jersey, New York State, and scattered on up further north. And uh, looks like it's Syracuse, Syracuse, New York, Albany, New York, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and uh, looks like it all the way down to Delaware. Looks like it's right on the edge of New York City. The heavy rain and, and, and sleet and snow mix there, looks like, according to this one. And this one's as of uh, uh, 1800, 6 o'clock right now, 601. And I think it just updated, I think. 
Sure did, 601. Just updated. About the same places, though. But that's where it's all precipitating the heaviest is, anyways. Now, that's not the only place, but uh, one of the heavier places. Out west, it's scattered. It's doing some out west in parts of California. Mostly rain over in California, though. There's snow in the mountains, of course, of the western part of the country. Uh, let me see. Go all the way up to Montana, it looks like. It's really scattered out, out west, out in the northwest, as you can see. Especially in the mountains. Alright, uh, let me branch out one more spot. Now you can see a little bit better like that. And that, that, that goes on up into Canada a little piece. But, not here. We're in good shape here in Tennessee. Let me concentrate on Tennessee temporarily. Nothing in Tennessee. We're in good shape. Nothing headed our way either. Not, not right away. Not until probably Sunday night around midnight, I believe, is when the next chance for rain comes up. And speaking of that, I brought up the wrong forecast one. <laughs> oh, I just thought of that. I brought up the WordPress by accident. Well, I'll, I'll try to show it to you anyways. Yesterday, I showed you the, the Google one, since you can read it too. Well, well maybe I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and uh, see if I can not bring it up. Here it is. I'll go ahead and surprise you. It don't take long. Maybe, maybe it won't mess up my recording too bad. Because I know you can see it better. Let me bring it down just a little. I know, I know, well, let me get this camera a little bit closer. That might help a little bit. Alright, that's tonight's forecast. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave it... Uh, Right there looks good. Let me bring it over toward the center a little bit more. I think you probably can see that pretty good from what I can tell. Alright. Mostly clear skies tonight, of course. The moon uh, hasn't rose yet. It'll be, well, the sun hadn't set yet either. Yeah, it has. <laughs> the sun sets at uh, 451. Already did not long ago. Maybe 15 minutes ago, roughly. Uh, the moon will be rising at uh, 648 this evening. And it'll be setting, the moon will be setting tomorrow morning at uh, 657 a.m. It will be full again tonight. So it'll be another beautiful moon like we had uh, last night. And Saturday, it's going to be another beautiful day. Mostly clear skies. It's going to be near freezing, though. Low near uh, 34 degrees. It's going to be just above freezing here in Bemis. Now, don't be surprised if it hits freezing. That close, it might. Uh, at least a light frost is probable, especially on vehicles and housetops and things like that. I'm not sure about the ground. Uh, the high tomorrow should warm on up to 61 degrees. That will feel a little bit better than today's 60 by <laughs> 1 degree, I guess. Uh, we should have east winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And there you see the sun rises in the morning at 622 and sets tomorrow evening at 552 p.m. The moon will be rising tomorrow evening at uh, uh, 753 p.m. and set uh, Sunday morning at uh, 7.34 a.m. And speaking of Sunday, mostly clear skies, low near, uh, well, that was Sunday. I didn't give it to you. No, I hadn't either. Mostly clear, low near 34. We'll have the low near 34 again, again near freezing, but the high near 67, so it's going to be very nice uh, with east winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, it's going to be fair to at least sunset Sunday night. But between sunset and midnight Sunday night, a few clouds may move into the area again. Leading up to 
a mostly cloudy sky on Monday. We have an 80% chance of uh, more showers and possibly even a few thunderstorms till Monday night near sunset and then just uh, most just showers after that. And then the showers will probably end before midnight Monday night. Or at least that's the thinking right now. Monday's low will be near 45. Hey, that's a little warmer, finally. High near 58 on Monday, with south winds at 10, uh, at 15 to 30 miles per hour. So it's going to be a little windy on Monday. And there you see the times for the sun and moon. Uh, next Tuesday, mostly clear. Low near 41, high of 62, with west winds at 15 to 30. And there you see the sun and moon times. And on Wednesday, it's going to be fair till noon, then becoming mostly cloudy. No rain's expected. And then becoming fair again before midnight, uh, Wednesday night. Mainly, it's going to be a very big cloudy day almost. With a low near 36 and a high of 48, with northwest winds at 15 to 30. Next Thursday, mostly clear, low near 30. Uh-oh, it's going to get below freezing <laughs> that morning, for one day at least. 30 degrees for a low, at least at this time. That's the expected low. High near 47, and northwest winds are 10 to 20 miles per hour. We can't turn the heaters off yet or put away our jackets just yet. I wish we could, but uh, maybe by the end of the month. Uh, Friday, mostly clear, low near 29, high of 38, with southwest winds at 10 to 20. And the last quarter moon is complete on Friday. And there you see the rise and set times for the moon and the uh, sun. Next Saturday is the last day of S Central Standard Time. Mostly cloudy skies expected right now with a 60% chance of rain, low near 43, and a high of 61, with south winds at 10 to 20. And finally, by 2 a.m. next Sunday morning, March the 11th, daylight savings time uh, begins. Whoa, and I can't wait. <laughs> Let me pull that out so you can see it a little bit better. Right now, though, it's going to be a cloudy sky, doggone it. That, that may change, though. There's still a few days out. Mostly cloudy skies as of tonight uh, for Sunday, March the 11th, with a 50% chance of some showers and a few thunderstorms. Low near 49 and high of uh, 59 with west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Notice the difference in the timing of the sunrise and moonrise and set times. Uh, for that day. The sun will be coming up a little after 7, be setting around 7 o'clock, and there you see the moon times as well. I'll concentrate on that a little bit better next weekend, since that, I don't get too many numbers in your mind uh, 10 days out. Alright, other than that, that's it for tonight, folks. All right, let me uh, put it back on. Let me put it back on the radar. There's nothing there. Let me put this back to Tennessee. There's nothing there. No clouds in the area. None's expected. So we're in good shape right now, my friends. All right, let me as I close. Let me put it back on me briefly. And say thank you for watching and viewing and uh, subscribing. Of course, that's free. Don't cost anything. Uh, and I um, hope you have a great Friday night and a fantastic Saturday and weekend. And I hope to talk to you again soon. And I hope you enjoy this new radar system I'll be sharing with you for a while. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, my friends, good night and God bless, and talk to you later.